Welcome to Inside the Hive. I'm Trevor Alt. Let's recap some football. I'm happy to announce that starting today, we'll be featuring video highlights for all of our football recaps here at Inside the Hive. This Saturday, the squad headed down to take on conference row Mount St. Joseph. After a rocky 0-4 start to the year, the Jackets were looking to rebound. And when I heard the news would be showing some game footage, I told the guys to bring me back some highlights, and they did not disappoint. Let's take it down to the field now, halfway into the first quarter. Believe it or not, we're going to start our highlights out with a muffed punt. Tony Sierra back for the Jackets. He's going to bobble it, but then quickly make up for it. As he scoots along the left side, gets himself an opening. Nasty cutback here that gets two Lion defenders until he's got space. And it's just the punter left to beat. And that's not cool. You don't pick on kickers like that. They don't deserve that. Tony Sierra with an 84-yard punt return. That's the longest in school history. Jackets would feed off of that momentum on special teams and defense all day long. Take a look here, the play action fake. Chris Pettigrew doesn't buy it. He goes up and makes the interception at the Jacket 23-yard line. Good coverage was a theme of the day. The Lions held it just 93 yards through the air. You see another one. This is what they call a coverage sack. Nobody open. DJ Brigham brings the quarterback down at the 36. Take it to the fourth quarter. Jackets down 10-13. to 13. Rick Powell doing what he does best with the QB read. Everybody bites the fake, and he's got space for days. That's a 22-yard touchdown run. Put the Jackets up 16-10, to 10, and they wouldn't look back from there. Less than a minute later, Greg Pickett, I'm going to read the screen for the Lions. The big fella is going to take it 40 yards for a touchdown. We're going to give you another look at that right here. You'll see Pickett coming off the stunt, reads the screen, gives himself a bit of a tip, and the big fella taking it 40 yards. Love to see the guys in the trenches get involved, put some points on the board. That would put the Jackets up 23-10. to 10. Final seconds. Lions trying to get any momentum. They're going to hurl it deep. Kyle Keegan on the sideline. He's a former wideout, so you know he can catch. Makes the interception at the three-yard line, and that would seal it. Jackets pull a win 23-13. to 13. They move to 1-4 and four on the year. Next week, they'll return home against winless Earlham, the conference opponent. We'll have coverage right here at Inside the Hive. That does it for me. I'm Trevor Alt. Thanks for watching Inside the Hive. Go Jackets.